Yo everybody, it's Daniel, welcome to yet another gameplay video, and today we are back in the second episode of the survival series in Minecraft. So in the last episode, which was the first episode, what we did is that we built this little tiny hidey hole thing, which is kind of like a shelter that you use to hide from zombies and stuff, but since I've got it on peaceful mode, I guess it's just a shelter for no reason, but the reason I've got it on peaceful mode because I want to wait a few days and get like kind of jacked up with armor and stuff first before you know I do everything you know to make sure you know I mean I'm ready so um tonight today I think I'm gonna start working on my house like my actual house and speaking of which I'm gonna go gather wood for it right now because I want my house to be made of wood 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 where is the regular wood at I don't, I don't like a, a seda wood. I think that, I think that's how you pronounce it, a seda? I don't think it's a, uh, my bacon says that it's a kata. I think, I think it's a seda. I'm, I'm not too sure. I'm pretty sure it's a seda though. Now stop lagging on me. Alright, there we go. Oh yeah, much better. Okay, my, my charger wasn't plugged in all the way. That's why. Alright, that should work much better now. There we go. So if you haven't seen the last episode, which was the first episode, I recommend you watch that first. So you'll know what's going on and stuff. But I mean, I'm not, you know, forcing you to do that. Because I mean, a YouTube video can't make you do so. Well, actually, technically it can. But like, they're not pushing you against your will to do it, if you know what I'm saying. It's not like the video, like, comes out of the screen and forces you to do something. Oh, uh, now that I think about it, that actually sounds kind of creepy, like, something comes out of the screen. I mean, what if it was, like, Freddy Fazbear or something? Oh, uh, I never should have thought of that. Great, now I'm going to have nightmares. Just so you know, I get scared pretty easily. Now, everybody, and I mean everybody, my my subscribers, my friends, all my friends, there's like, do FNAF, do FNAF, do FNAF, do FNAF, and I'm like, okay, okay, I'm, I'm working on that. The thing is, I get scared very, very, very easily, and I'm scared of a lot of things. Like, um, like if w the last night I was watching this movie with my mom, and it's called uh, Turtle, and you, and you can guess that I picked it. I mean, it's about turtles, and you know that I love turtles. But so, anyways, I was watching it, and one scene it. The camera moves to this dead fish trapped in like a jellyfish's stingers, and then I just start screaming. It was like so creepy. So that that's what I, that's what exactly what I'm talking about. So I don't know if I'm physically, mentally, or emotionally ready for FNAF yet. I mean, now one time my friend was playing Five Nights at Freddy's Four, and he pranked me by uh. Purposely getting scared by the Five Nights at Freddy's 4 Freddy, and then he would turn around the screen and put it right up in my face. You want to know something weird? When he put it up in my face, I had a blank face. I w and I was like, that, that's not scary. But the thing is, is that if I get jump scared when I'm alone, I get terrified. Like, if I'm going to watch a scary movie, or like play a scary game I have to be at least I had to be with someone in order to do that so I mean it, it I mean uh, don't don't laugh at me I mean I know you I know there's one fear that you that you mercifully have that you, that you mercifully had all your life now I will tell you something really really stupid that I'm afraid of that I have no idea why but there was this movie a lot of you know this movie it's it's a movie back in 2008 I think it's called Shark Tale, and um, at the beginning, you know how it's uh, produced by uh, DreamWorks. Well, at the beginning, you know how that you know how the guy fishes that worm, and the worm just starts screaming, you know, and everything. I am terrified of that worm, absolutely terrified. I mean, the first time I watched it when I was four, and it's like it's kind of like a jump scare, like it just comes out of nowhere, and he just ah! just just cross the screen and everything. And he's so creepy. I think he had the beard. I, I I looked at him very closely. I think he had the beard. But I don't understand why I'm afraid of it. I mean, it's just a worm. But it freaks me out so bad. And I have, like, these nightmares about him. 
But I will. I did have this one dream one time where I actually, where I actually, um, like killed the worm. Like, like I'm not kidding. I, I actually had, like, two years ago. Uh, now I, I played Minecraft. Actually, oh, I forgot to tell you this. But this is actually very, very, very funny. But my anniversary for playing Minecraft is actually on my birthday. If you don't know my birthday, it's uh, August 18th. Right smack dab in the middle of summer. Now, do you think that's cool? No, it is not cool. Being born in August is terrible. And here's why. Number one is that in the summertime, if you're born in August, that's right when school starts up again. So it's really awkward because, like, if you're going to a new school the next year and, like, nobody knows you, your be your birthday is, like, four days after. I mean, that's the same deal with me. Mine's August 18th. And, um, I mean, it's so weird because um, it's right when the school starts back up again. And, like, we have to prepare, like, a week before to get ready because it's so squished. Like, everybody's... You know, trying to get, like, all their stuff ready for the next grade and everything. Me, I have to focus on my cupcakes that I'm going to bring to school. All this other crap. It's so frustrating. I hate it. I absolutely hate, I absolutely hate it. Um, let's see. Where did, where's my hidey hole again? Did I lose it again? Oh, okay, there it is. Um, alright, let's see. I guess I could build a starter house. Nah, screw it. I'll, I'll start building my real house. So, um, let's go ahead and start with the outline of it. Let me see if I can... I think those... I think those planes might... Might... Like those... The, like the flat area over there might work. But, um... Um... Tell me what... Uh, in the comment section... Uh, you can comment in the box below. But tell me what you're... What you're afraid of. Like... Like a movie character... Or like... Some kind of like you know whatever um i will tell you uh, i'll tell you um all of my fears that i have because if i'm talking about them it kind of makes me you know less scared of them now when i'm thinking about them and i'm alone i'm like terrified but you know since i'm kind of talking and my mom's not, i'm like i'm alone at the house right now and i'm talking about my fears i'm surprised i'm not freaking out right now probably because i'm making a video yeah for youtube but um so, um, let's see, what was that? There was this really, 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 really scary thing that I saw. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I had this really, really, really mean babysitter who was, who was pretty much a beep to me. She was a beep, 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 beep. That's exactly how I feel about her. If you're watching this video, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get, I'm not going to give her a last name. But I, I'm gonna go, gonna give her give you her first name, Miriam. If you're watching this, screw you. That's how bad I hate my babysitter. But I, I had very good reason. I had good reason. All right, wait. No, a house would be good over there because I don't like being by all this desert crap. So, oh my God, my my babysitter. She would like physically like try to hurt me. Like she she attempted to abuse me. And I was just like, no. No, I didn't attack her because I, I already knew that you're not supposed to attack girls. Now, here's my here's my deal. I know you're not supposed to attack girls, especially girls your age. Like if you're like a kid like me, hitting girls is like a like is like a like a murder, basically. In the fifth grade, if you hit a girl, I mean you're you're you you you're treated like you just murdered like three people. I mean, you're you're basically treated like Hitler is bad now. Like, you know how a bunch of people badmouth Hitler now for all he does. That's basically what happens. Now, I've never hit a girl before, and I never will in my entire life ever. I swear to God, I will never hit a girl because it's not right. It's wrong. And look at this. Donald Trump is trying to punish punish women for abortion right now, and like what I'm saying is like I have this um friend in my class. She's not my girlfriend. We're we're just friends, you know. We just kind of talk a lot. Um. So one day I walk in, 
a day after the debate that Donald Trump announced for abortion, like for women, like like and children. He said children as well, like like girls. I mean, I walked up. I walked. So we were eating at lunch, and she's. So I bring up the fact that she's like, can you believe that Donald Trump went, wants to uh, punish you guys for abortion? Five seconds later, she breaks down crying. She's like, oh my god, Donald Trump is so unfair, he's so mean. And I'm like, that be what I say, girl. I mean, uh, Donald Trump is an idiot. I mean, right now, right now, like, right now, pause this video right now and go to the comment section and think of the worst adjective in the world that you could possibly think of to describe Donald Trump. Donald Trump is an idiot, he's stupid, he... I mean, um, I mean, I don't want to offend anybody, and I don't want to point fingers, but if Donald Trump becomes president, I swear to God, he will ruin our country. Now, that is my opinion. Now, if you're voting for Donald Trump, I am not going to judge you, but in my opinion, I think Donald Trump is a beep, and most people do, but I mean, a lot of people, you know, just, I mean, listen to him. And I just think he's an idiot. But just tell me what you think of Donald Trump in the comments below. If you like Donald Trump, you can still do it. I'm not going to get mad at you because, you know, I respect people, people's opinions. I mean, I know that a, a bunch, and I mean like millions of people think different from me. Like, like for example, like I really like powdered donuts and no, and no, and no, I am not talking about drugs. I don't know why people refer powdered donuts as drugs. I mean, they, 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 I mean, I can understand, like, the white powder kind of looks like marijuana, but I mean, come on. I mean, really? But that, that's not really my point. But, like, say, alright, let me just change the, the, the food type. So, say, um, I was eating a pack of Airheads, and I was like, hmm, these are really good. And, like, Bacon might say that, eh, I don't really like those. And I'm like, okay, that's fine with me. See, that, that's what I'm talking about. Like, I respect people's opinions, but, I mean, I just think Donald Trump is a complete idiot. I mean, Donald Trump, if you're watching this right now, I don't want to be rude. Well, I, I kind of just said really hateful things about Donald Trump. But I have a really good reason. I have a lot of reasons. First off, there Donald Trump is trying to treat girls like crap, and what is you can't live without girls. Because let me tell you this: I, not a lot of people know this, but I learned this in in class in fourth grade. But um, when you're born inside your mother's stomach, you start out as a girl. It doesn't matter what you'll come out to be in the future. You're always a girl. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You always start out as a girl. And the reason that us boys have nipples is because is that sometimes the um I I don't really want to um say this in an inappropriate way. Okay, let's just say girl nipples. Let's just say girl nipples. Like you know what I'm talking about. Right, we'll just call them globes. We'll just call them globes because I, I, I'm not. I'm trying not to. I'm trying to be um, the most not inappropriate that I can be. So the reason that us guys have nipples is that if the gender of the baby is going to be a boy, the globes like kind of like disintegrate and like disappear. And the reason we have nipples is that like it's just like left over from the globes that we used to have. So really, we actually couldn't live without girls, literally, because, like, I used to be a girl, you used to be a girl. I mean, if you're a girl, then you pretty, then you were a girl ever since you were in your mother's womb. But if you're a boy, you were a girl once. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. But, I know it sounds weird, but trust me, it's true, you can look it up. Don't, don't believe me, look it up. And that's why we have Google <laughs> and Internet Explorer. Actually, no, I'd say Internet Explorer sucks. But um, you want to know something weird about my computer? For some reason, 
one day, so I was using internet. Uh, I was using Chrome to to go on my uh, websites that I use Sonic the Hedgehog for, like the classic games. So one day, I click on the icon that gets me to Chrome. All of a sudden, it just said invalid properties. It it cannot start. So I tried it again. It said the same team. It said the same thing. So I right click on it and I go to properties. I totally mess it up even more to the point where my mom just had to delete it and said, well, we're going to have to use Internet Explorer. And I'm like, Internet Explorer sucks. But I'm going to be honest with you. It's actually really not that bad because if you set your default browser as Chrome, I mean, as, as Google, it actually works a lot better. It, yeah, I mean, it, it's really not that bad. I mean, I always thought the Internet Explorer was just like that old 2010 crappy uh, Sonic Adventure DX computers. You know what I'm talking about? But, I mean, still. I mean, when I grew back when I grew up, we, I mean, I grew up to like Windows 5 computers. Like, that, that was my generation. Which, I was born in 2004. You know, so I mean, I mean, I I go back I go pr back to pretty much uh, a lot of the early days of Windows, but I mean, because Internet Explorer came out in um, 2010. I I'm pretty sure I, I'm not too sure, but you know, I I have a pretty good theory that that, that that's it. But you know, I mean, the thing with Internet Explorer is that. When, when I first got on Internet Explorer, like, I started using it, I was totally unprepared, like, because usually you have that restart, you have the refresh button, and I couldn't even remember where it was at, and it's actually in the search bar, like, next to the search bar, um, up in the top corner. I forgot where it was, because usually, like, like the uh, restart button on Chrome is so big, like, I can easily see it. Like, it was a big change for me, but, you know, I've, got, I've gotten the hang of it, you know? I mean, you know, a lot of games that I play um, are usually downloaded. Like, uh, Roblox is downloaded. Minecraft is obviously downloaded. I mean, you, you, there's no, there's no way you can get Minecraft for free unless you have Windows 10. Which, I, this is the computer I have is actually a Windows 8 designed laptop, but they allowed me to upgrade to upgrade to Windows 10. And I'm gonna tell the truth. Now this is not an April Fool's because it's already April seventh. But um, when I upgraded to Windows 10, it kept all my games and my apps on there, but it erased all my progress. And, it, and you wonder why I haven't made a Shadow Fight video in a while. Well, that's because it wiped out all of my progress. So now what I'm having to do. Is I'm gonna have to I have to start all over again with Shadow Fight, upgrade all of my levels and all of that stuff, and just redo everything. Now I'm working on it right now. I am almost about to get to the point where I can beat Links and and forward to Act Two. So I'm getting there, but um, just please be patient, guys. I know I know I haven't come out with a Shadow Fight Two video in a while. I apologize for that. But I didn't know that the upgrade was going to wipe out my progress. See, see, I mean, I didn't know that. But, you know, all right, we'll start with one outline in my house, and then I'll go. I mean, like, in the video. That's what I mean. All right, so let's just go here. Wait, i got to make sure they're even. I like even side outs. Okay, one, two, three, four. Not ah, dang it. Four, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 19, move these weeds out of the way, wait, wait, oh, dang it, I lost my count, alright, uh, dang it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 
And um, why don't we make it 24 blocks wide? 24 blocks wide. It's a pretty big house. Alright, so half of 24 is 12. So I'm going to count that over to make the doorway. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Alright. There we go. Alright, that halves it. Wait, is this 12 or 11? 1, 2, 3, 4. Ah, dang it, I lost my count. Alright, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4. I don't know. Let's just keep it at that one doorway. So, um. Oh, shoot, my hidey hole. Um, where did I? Oh, I see it. I see it. Alright, I got it. I got this. I got this, brah. Bray. Brah. Bruh. Brah. Bruh. Alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna keep that hidey hole there, like, just in case for, like, emergencies or something. But I'm gonna go ahead and move all my stuff. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get my crafting table. And then my chest. Oh, wait a second. Well, I'm going to take my pickaxe so I can go ahead and mine my Fiernus really quickly. Ah, my charger! Get back in there! Eats, eats back. Okay, right, there we go. Alright. Let's mine here. Alright, there we go. Alright, let's just move all my crap over to my house foundation. Alright. I know this has been kind of a long video, but the, the reason is is because I literally haven't made a Minecraft video in over like five months. And I really just want to spend as much time on Minecraft as I can right now before, you know, I get all of my game progress back on, you know, and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and create a door and then I'll end this video because this is getting way too long. All right, an oak door. There we go. Yep, that should do it. Well, anyways, guys, that was really fun, and I hope you enjoyed this very, 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 very awesome and very productive and very progressing video. I guess I mean by, you know, I mean, like, I don't even know right now. It's just I'm 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 de I'm starting to get dehydrated. I haven't drank water in over like 30 minutes, but I just went ahead and started this video before I got, see, you know, for every single video, I get a drink of water before I start it so my voice doesn't get hoarse, but I'm going to go drink some water after this, you know, so I can make some more videos today because I'm on spring break, but anyways, guys, that was really fun, and I hope you enjoyed this very, very, very progressive Minecraft video and this survival series, so we will see you guys next time in the next episode of it for the third episode, so see you guys next time. Bye, and peace out.